Hello world, this is Upamanyu and welcome to screencast number 3. In this screencast, we'll see how to create a graphical program with Turbo C++. Now, when Turbo C++ was created, very less graphics was used. The concept of GUI, its graphical user interface, was not existed there. And 8-bit uh, graphics were used. So basically we can't build very much of graphics in C++ but still what we can is pretty amazing so this screencast will see to how to create the pixel program so basically this program will just put a dot a pixel in the middle of the screen I mean whatever coordinates are specified of uh, the dot can be of any color okay so this is basically what we are going to create so let's fire up the C++ turbo C++ okay as you all know turbo C++ doesn't run full screen mode in Windows 7 but the graphical programs for C++ need the full screen mode so options are there you can use DOS box a free program to run C++ in full screen mode or else you can start your computer in safe mode and then C++ will run perfectly fine in full screen okay safe mode is the better option as per me but as it had some recording glitches I couldn't record in safe mode but more or less I will use DOSBox okay so let's create a new file so in this we are not going to use IO stream we are going to use the Konio and the graphics will catch Okay, this conio.h as you all know is used for the clear screen and the get ch functions and graphics.h contains all the declarations for the graphics whatever graphics is supported by c++ at least so next we start by void main this is a very simple program it will hardly take us five minutes to write the program okay our program starts now we will first clear the screen. Okay. Next we'll initialize the driver value. So what will this do? It will check this will check the mode. It will check the mode that is whether the monitor is in full screen mode whether it is in whether in sleep mode whether it is turned off or whether it is on basically it will check that whether this program is has a suitable conditions for execution okay basically it will check that Now we'll initiate the graph. Graph because we will plot that point in a certain po coordinate. It will have x coordinate, it will have a y coordinate. So for that we need a graph. Okay. So and driver. That is the logical address where the driver is stored and and the mode driver and the mode if their logical address are in true position then it will have this directory called the C T C B G R. Okay. 
so this is the directory where the temporary files for the execution of this graphical program is stored now why the two slashes are used now backslash as we all know is used as an ex a, a escape sequence so backslash if we enter only one backslash then it will be treated as, a, as an escape sequence and not a directory path so we have to enter two backslashes to ensure that it, it is treated as a directory path okay now after terminating the statement we will put the pixel I put pixel 300 200 this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate and the color we have to specify the color it's white okay next we put the function get stitch that will wait for the user to press any key and as soon as the user presses the key it will get out of the program it will quit the program will quit and next last thing close graph that will close the graph we had initiated the graph this will close the graph so that's the end of the program now let's check if there is any errors or not okay there are no errors so let's save it the projects folder I'll save it as Excel dot uh, cpp okay pixel dot cpp now let me compile it compile it now uh, we'll say compile and make so the pixel dot exe is made now we will see that uh, whether it is running properly or not okay for that I open up DOS box again. Okay. Mount C C Okay. Then pixel DXC. You can see the small dot that is put on the screen so this is the pixel that we were talking about so with this we come to the end of the screencast thank you